Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to kind of do something a little different. I don't think I've ever done this like on my own. I've been struggling with my style when it comes to art. Like ever since I graduated from college, I feel like I just lost like my own style. I was very much into like little cartoon people and cartoon like creatures and like stuff that was like cute but kind of weird and scary like a Tim Burton kind of esque but I don't do that anymore and I'm really unsure of what my style even is. Last night I sat down and I just started drawing some people and I just couldn't do it. Like, I just, I don't know. It felt like I was forcing something. <laughs> and so I thought, you know what? In order to find my style, why don't I just start from the beginning? Um, something I did in college was when I took my drawing classes, we didn't really just sit down and like draw things from our memory or just come up with things. We did a lot of, this is in front of you, draw it. And so that's just what I'm gonna do today. I'm going to go outside, I'm going to sit down and find something that I just wanna kinda sketch out and draw it. Um, with no sort of style intended, just kinda a rough, quick sketch of something I see. And I just wanna sorta of practice that until I eventually am able to just do things on my own again. I'm also going to be doing this on my iPad. I'm gonna use Procreate, I'm very much enjoying it. And then later in this video, I think I'm going to head to Walmart because it's the closest place to me with like art supplies. And I wanna pick up a couple things um, for my sketchbook, which I will get into later. But yeah, if you guys want more videos like this, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Um, I wanna get more into art content. So if you wanna see that, then make sure you subscribe and come back for more. So yeah, let's just get right into it. After doing those drawings, I'm actually pretty pleased with them. I mean, they're not supposed to be anything, like, special. <laughs> Nothing perfect. They're just, like, really rough sketches. But I just want to try a different style of, like, how I draw. 
and I'm pretty pleased with the butterfly one more than anything. Um, but I think that's sort of what I'm gonna do every day and kind of just see how my drawing improves, I guess. I've been working on this new sketchbook. I've had this sketchbook since college. So uh, I've graduated college like three or four years ago. Four years ago? I think it's four years ago now. And I literally never touched this. Um, I had a couple um, that I used in class, but I never used this one. So I decided to start using it. And originally it was just gonna be like rough sketches of things or a couple like, um, watercolor paintings and stuff, but uh, it wasn't, I wasn't gonna really take it seriously. It was just gonna kind of be for practice, but then I wanted to try something different. Oh yeah, this is my rough uh, Studio Ghibli stuff that I, I don't really care for too much, but that's okay. <laughs> um, when I graduated college, I came out with a lot of art supplies and one of them being oil pastels that I wasn't really taught how to use in college. It was just kind of supplies that was given to me. Um, and so, I mean, I still don't know how to use it, but I decided to try it out. And what came out of that was this. Can you see it? Yeah. <laughs> um, I actually kind of like it. I think... Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I saw some sort of, I think it was a painting I saw on Pinterest and I decided to do kind of my version of like oil pastels and I kind of like it. So then I thought, you know what? I really like this, let's do another one. And this one, I didn't finish fully. Maybe I did, I'm not really sure how I feel about this one yet. Um, kind of like the windows though. <laughs> But uh, I used what little oil pastels I had left after doing the first one um, and did this. And I, I kind of really like that one too. I, I can't say that I hate it. It's not perfect, but I kind of like it. Um, I think this one was also based off of some sort of painting I saw on Pinterest, but I, I'm so limited on my oil pastels that I couldn't do any more than that. And so I went to Walmart and I got two packs <laughs> so I can continue like practicing because I kind of really like it. And I've never, like I said, I've never really been taught how to use oil pastels. So yeah, I really like this. I think in terms of finding my art style, I think I'm just going to keep trying things I've never tried before. So um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do a lot of oil pastel so I can kind of see how colors blend and whatnot. And I think I'm just gonna do like quick rough sketches of just things that are in front of me because I feel like that just helps you uh, better draw, better draw, what? <laughs> I just feel like that uh, helps you get better at draw. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> um, yeah, I think in the future I want to do a whole video dedicated to like the human body, like anatomy and stuff, because I think that overall helps you in terms of drawing people when you just learn how the body uh, looks. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to have a whole separate video dedicated on that. But in terms of just trying to find my style, this is where I'm going to start. I'm just going to keep trying things that I've never tried before. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I am really enjoying these art videos that I'm doing. Um, I've really grown, uh, a new passion for YouTube that I haven't had in so long. Uh, for those who don't know, I've literally been on YouTube since 2008. Um, I started on a different channel and it was a collab channel with my best friend. I'm sorry if this is really like redundant if like you watch these videos of me saying it. For those who don't know, I had another channel. <laughs> but yeah, I did have another channel. Um, we got it to about 400 subscribers and then we stopped filming on there. Subscribers started to die. Um, the channel is alive again. <laughs> we are uploading, I have a podcast with her. And so we are uploading our podcast on there. So if you're interested, go check it out. But um, I started this channel right after I graduated college, um, took it seriously for a little while, stopped, took it seriously, stopped, and then like I hit this like, this bump for like a good year, year and a half, maybe even two years, and I just felt very uninspired. I felt like YouTube wasn't my place anymore. It just wasn't fun. I just felt like I kept putting so much work into content and wasn't getting much out of it. And then all of a sudden people started watching my videos again and I was like, you know what? Let me give it 
a full try because I feel like I really relied on, well, maybe I'll get lucky with this video or maybe I'll get lucky with this idea or, you know, whatever the case is. But this time, right now, I am fully taking my channel seriously and I'm just going to see where it goes. Um, cause you know, I don't do this for, uh, YouTube fame or YouTube money cause I don't have either, but <laughs> it's not my end goal. Uh, my end goal is just to make YouTube my career because I love YouTube. I love filming videos. I love editing. I love talking to a camera for some reason, but yeah, I'm sorry. I'm rambling now, but <laughs> thank you guys so much for everyone who is new or has been here the whole time. I very much love YouTube. I I don't think I'll ever fully quit YouTube. I don't I just don't think I can do it. So, uh maybe I'll be vlogging in like a shell a shelter. <laughs> what am I going to be homeless? <laughs> um like a like a nursing home when I'm old. Maybe I'll be vlogging with my friends and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.